Man, that was a ladder the whole time. People like him. The simple fact that I ran out of uh, bullets and the assault rifle at the time when I needed it really made me upset. I kind of wish it did. Here. Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? 
demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. If one show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavor. Oh, boy. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? With your permission. Over my dead body. We were gonna Stop. get rid of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, Hiromi's gotta, gotta go. That's why we're here. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the doors to fuck one another instead? Michael will make sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose unless you tell him with which hand to do it. Last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. 
She was right, Judy. Granted, didn't tell us what she was planning, but she probably knew you wouldn't agree to it. Well, fuck. Club as big as this, operating in such a niche, needs a strong hand at the helm. And a strong gang to back it up. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. Just, this ain't how I imagined things panning out. But I guess I should get used to it. No matter what you do, life's always gonna throw you a curveball. Your frustration, I get it. Don't take this personally, but I gotta cool down. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, Dee. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. Oh, shit, not good. Can I? Ooh, it's cold in my house right now for some reason. I just got to chill. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, it's probably says to Yeah. We're upstairs. Okay. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Is it? Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. Will he? He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother Mike, us. We're talking about we'll the cornerstone bother us of my at platform. Doing what, exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because I know in a minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V! 
Yeah. Glad you could make it. Okay. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A cyber break-in? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify badges, the badges yeah. yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. I wouldn't know anything about that. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder, take anything? Break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. I don't know about that. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea who you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Could be the same people who were behind Mayor Ryan's murder. Or Weldon Holt, Jeff's opponent in the race. The polls have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe yeah, I you should? should? Yeah. Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V will turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Got to run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to 
to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. I feel you on that. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Vote for Prowlis. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Sounds like somebody didn't want me snooping around, yeah. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. You and Jefferson, come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. True. Judy Alvarez. Hey, that's my girl. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing you on behalf of Jeff. This is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you return the favor Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about a certain brain dance. I'll be honest, the matter is of a high discreet nature and oh, highly delicate nature and discretion as much as professionally analyzed is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you will be well compensated for your trouble. Believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tight at the moment. I know someone you can call though. She's a merc. Known quantity at the afterlife. Does prime tier work? Hey, they call her V. That's me. That's me. I'm sure she'll be willing to help. Thank you for the referral. Ah. Uh, uh, 
So my girl is the reason why I'm here. All right, okay, 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 okay. I didn't know you knew her. She's a doll, that one. Oh, well. This is where we sleep. This is where I can't get by, okay. Again. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Blue roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Huh. Sorry, I skipped the dialogue again. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Iron. Is Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Story not adding up. Or maybe I just watched too many detective things. That's what that leads to. Okay. Where are you going, Elizabeth? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Broken? It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Wait, wait. just happened a second ago. Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind. 